This is Africa, the cradle of mankind's birth, where powerful kingdoms arose with stories of worth, exemplary leaders, the legacy told, Nkrumah, Mandela, their spirits bold. Let courage and dreams unite as one for a brighter tomorrow where greatness is spun. In this beautiful, colorful, and friendly domain, greatness awaits, where hopes shall not wane, where tales of triumph weave a tapestry. Welcome to Today in African History. In the heart of Nigeria's tumultuous colonial era, amidst the echoes of tribal traditions and the imposing shadows of British rule, emerged a figure destined to etch his name indelibly into the annals of history, Namdi Azikiwe, a name that would resonate across generations. Was born on this day, November 16th, 1904, in the vibrant town of Zungeru, the very pulse of northern Nigeria's colonial capital. His father, Chukwemeka Azikiwe, a steadfast civil servant in the labyrinthine corridors of the British colonial government, could have never imagined the profound impact his son would have on the destiny of a nation. The young Azikiwe embarked on his educational odyssey in 1912, stepping into the hallowed halls of the Church Missionary Society, Niger Mission, in the bustling city of Onicha. There, amidst the whispers of wisdom and the scent of knowledge, the seeds of this extraordinary future were sown. His journey through education, a patchwork quilt, woven from experiences at CMS and Wesleyan Boys High School in Lagos would shape the formidable intellect that would later steer a nation towards independence. In the crucible of Nigerian politics, Azikiwe's star ascended rapidly. In the pivotal year of 1947, he was elected to his first governmental role in the esteemed Nigerian Legislative Council. By 1954, his unparalleled leadership had propelled him to the position of Premier of Eastern Nigeria. Yet, with the mantle of power came sacrifices. Azikiwe, in his relentless pursuit of a liberated Nigeria, had to relinquish his personal business interests. The defining moment arrived on October 1st, 1960, a day etched in the collective memory of a nation. Nigeria emerged free from the shackles of colonialism and Azikiwe stood tall as its inaugural indigenous governor general. Three years later, the echo of freedom reverberated louder still. On October 1st, 1963, Nigeria was declared a republic and Azikiwe was democratically elected as its first president. Alongside the newly appointed prime minister, Abubakar Balewa, he bore the immense responsibility of guiding a nascent nation. Yet, fate, with its capricious whims, would soon throw Nigeria into the crucible of chaos the ominous clouds of political unrest darkened the nation's skies, culminating in a military coup on the 16th of January, 1966. This cataclysmic event heralded the dawn of a devastating conflict, the Nigerian Civil War, 
a tragic saga that unfolded between 1967 and 1970. In the midst of this turmoil, Azikiwe emerged as the unwavering voice of the Igbo people's struggle for independence as the Eastern states attempted to carve the nation of Biafra from the fabric of Nigeria. Azikiwe stood as the staunch advocate, a beacon of hope amidst the storm. After the war, when the dust had settled and the wounds of conflict began to heal, Azikiwe, like a phoenix rising from the ashes, re-entered public life. In 1972, he assumed the mantle of Chancellor of the prestigious University of Lagos, a role he embraced with the same fervor that had defined his political career. Yet, even legends must fade. And on the 11th of May, 1996, in the city of Enugu, Nigeria, Namdi Azikiwe breathed his last. His physical presence may have departed, but his legacy, a tapestry woven with threads of courage, wisdom, and unyielding determination and deals inspiring generations to come. And so the tale of Azikiwe, the trailblazer, lives on, a testament to the power of one man's vision to shape 